How you doing? Welcome back. My name is Rick. This is Winders Ranger. I wanted to talk about a couple of the videos that I've made here in the last uh, couple of months or so. And uh, I know a lot of them have been uh, Disney related videos. And uh, partly because I, I got a, a season pass this year. It's the first time I've ever gotten one. So I thought I would share my experience with you guys um, in the park. It's kind of halfway between just average videos and kind of a, a daily vlog kind of thing although they're not daily um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about was my experience at some of the Disney restaurants Coral Reef was one I didn't make a video on it but I went to uh, the California Grill up in the top of the contemporary I think that was a good example I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that I've been to recently where uh, Tiffin's I think in Animal Kingdom I went there back uh, several months ago uh, what I'm finding with these big restaurants the the sit-down really expensive restaurants excluding the buffet restaurants uh, Crystal Palace uh, Liberty Tree Tavern things like that a lot of the meals and this is in no way I'm not trying to bash Disney the restaurants anything like that um, but a lot of the meals that I've had the meals were okay I mean they they really weren't you know for you go in and and sixty eighty ninety dollars for uh, you know meal sit down meal at one of those places um, kind of would expect a little bit different but they're just okay you know they're not super spectacular you know I mean I guess it's more the atmosphere where you are you're, you're paying a lot for for the name of course but what I found is the appetizers uh, I could and I'm, I haven't really put this to the test yet. When I do, I'll, I'll certainly let you know. But what I found is is the appetizers themselves tend to be a lot better than the meals. I don't know why. Um, what I what I think I might do sometime in the in the future is just get a couple of appetizers and sit down and and just have those as my meal, you know, and see if it's a better experience. Um, not that there are any one of those any any one of those places were bad. I'm not saying that, but they they were just kind of okay. You know, for the price, you would expect it to be, you know, perfect or or far above the rest. But uh, Tiffin's, I had I don't remember the name of the meal now, but uh, for an appetizer, I think we got like the mushroom something soup. I forget what the name of it was, and it was far better, I thought, than the meal itself. Coral Reef and Epcot was the same thing. I think um, what I ended up doing, and I'd seen a picture of it earlier in the evening, so I decided to get the, what was it called, the mac and cheese and shrimp or something like that, uh, or lobster it might have been, I think it was lobster. And you can get that in two options. You can get it as an appetizer, which is a smaller portion, smaller price, or you can get it in a meal, and it's a larger portion, turned out to be a larger price. Um, if you get it as a meal, it's going to cost, by the time you're done, you're going to pay just as if you'd gotten a meal anywhere else in, in Disney. So, uh, eh, it was okay. I mean, it was, it, <laughs> I ended up bringing some home as a uh, leftover and I put it in the fridge and had it the next day. I thought it was better the next day than it was the day that I got it. But it was very salty. It had a lot of, a lot of sodium in it. Uh, that's, I think that's one of the tricks some of the bigger restaurants use um, to enhance flavor. I don't, I don't really know what the thought process is behind that exactly, but a lot of places you'll find that the meals are, are real salty. But, but this was it definitely was definitely was salty. Um, let's see what else did I get for an appetizer there? I got something else. I, I, I can't remember what it was, but anyway, the the the, the example still held true. It's like a, the, the appetizers were better than the meals that I got. So one of the last videos that I made I went to Magic Kingdom and they had the um, Wonderland slushy. Uh, also had not that particular time but I think one previous to that I got the uh, the egg roll, egg um, spring rolls in uh, uh, Adventureland and the Wonderland slushy was pretty good I, I have to admit 
the uh, slushy was it, it, the, the consistency if you it's going to sound really bad but if you've ever had a 7-eleven slurpee the uh, consistency of the drink itself it was it was a lot the same consistency not so much as like a snowball or a, uh, icy or something like that different names different parts of the country call it but the slurpee at 7-eleven it, it was it was very similar it was a good flavor i mean it was you know I, kind of refreshing on a hot day the straw they take a um, I guess it's like a paper straw kind of a cardboard straw and they coat it with hard candy on the outside of it makes it a little bit sticky you know so so be prepared for that grab yourself some napkins or wipes or whatever you know however you want to handle the stickiness but uh, what I ended up doing was getting an extra straw save that straw so I can drink this the slushy with a normal straw and then worked on the the candy coated one myself you know with without the uh, having to worry about the drink and stuff like that but my opinion I recommend it it was good I uh, as long as they have them I, I may go back and make that like a, a regular thing you know pick up a, a, a Wonderland slushy it's it's made the color coordination is after the Cheshire Cat in um, Alice and in, in the Wonderland you know the, I guess it's like purple and the pink stripes that he had I don't know what the candy coated straw is supposed to represent unless it's just a make it the same color coded coordinated uh, thing but the final thing I wanted to talk about is I've, I've changed the uh, I guess the avatar of my uh, YouTube channel um, used to have the the black ring and I'm keeping that as a, as a sticker that is available uh, but in the center of that it was the white background with the black cross and that's uh that, that cross actually comes through the idea from that was the maryland flag the cross and the maryland flag and there's a lot of history behind that where that came from uh it came from when maryland was settled and the two families that came together um, <clears throat> but anyway i changed the uh the avatar for that and i'm slowly updating like the instagram page it now has that same avatar uh, i believe the facebook page which i haven't done a whole lot with this particular channel on that Facebook page but I changed it there and on my website I'm, I'm working on that on the website the website still needs a, a little bit of work and, and kind of tweak it to personalize it to to this channel but uh, it, since things have changed over the years uh, the uh, Amazon they took away the affiliate program for for smaller folks like myself so I, that was kind of the reason was to work in conjunction with the Amazon affiliate page since that's not there the uh, the website kind of slowed down and I don't want to say it went stagnant but it's it's not generating as much as I'd like it to but um, at the point that I'm getting at is is that avatar that I've changed my my page to or changed the, the on my, my YouTube page um, eventually that'll be available in a sticker I've got a couple other sticker ideas that I want to uh, I want to make available what I want to do is uh, at the bottom of the main page on my website there's the old, uh, the old sticker available with the black ring and the, the cross in the, in the middle. Right below that is a PayPal link where you can purchase stickers. If you purchase a sticker, make sure you put in an address. It's a secure link. I'm not going to hand out your address to anybody else. Um, I may keep a record of it if there's some issue or something like that. Needs to be money needs to be refunded or something like that. Things get lost in the mail. But uh, other than that. If you click on that link, you, you it'll go straight to a PayPal account. Just make sure you send me your address where you would want the sticker sent to, so I know where I'm sending it to. Otherwise, I won't have any idea. Um, <clears throat> but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and make that. Uh, at least the idea is I'm going to try to make that its own page, and and offer all the different stickers in there that I'll have available in that page. That way, you can pick out something that you like. It's not just a you know one type of sticker and um, I, I maybe to depending on how the links work it's it I actually have to build it myself so it depends on how complicated that building process ends up being but I think what I'm what I've got in mind is either to have each individual link which is probably going to complicate the payment process and sorting out who's ordered what um, or simply to when you go into that link and you send your address or wherever you want that sticker mailed to is just have a number beside each one of the stickers I'd like number one or number two or you know however many there end up being 
So that's uh, that's in the works. That's down the road a little ways. I've got a lot of other stuff that's going on right now. That I'm trying to take care of and get those things done. Uh, as far as summer videos and things, I'm not real sure exactly what's going on yet. Um, I've got some ideas, things that I'd like to do. I don't know that I'll be able to do them all. But uh, as I make plans and we get a little closer to summer, you know, I'll I'll try to let you guys know what I've got coming down the pike. Uh, so we'll see. But uh, for now, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. That'll keep you up to date on the new videos that I've got coming out and uh, any new information or anything about my channel, what I what I'm gonna have coming down the road. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, you can do that by ordering a sticker. And when I get the new stickers available, there'll be uh, obviously a better selection than what I've got now. I've also got some t-shirts. The company that I work with is um, is a little bit uh, on the expensive side. I think they're decent shirts. I've, I've, I've had a couple of them. Um, I put up a couple of new designs here just the other day, so I, there's also hats available. The hats, um, I haven't ordered one yet, so I don't know about the quality. They look like they're, they're pretty good. My, I guess it's going to be like the shirt. It's not embroidered. It's just a, uh, a silk screen uh, image on the front of the hat. But um, I would like to order myself a hat, and I'll be able to tell you guys a little bit more about that quality. Those are a couple of different ways you can help support the channel. And any of that revenue goes right back into the channel. It's uh, strictly for camera gear and things like that just to keep the channel up and running. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching. If you, if you would, you want to hit that like button. That helps uh, promote the channel in more ways than you can imagine with this new YouTube algorithm. So I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.